So I think you guys know that it is time to do something with this bad boy. Welcome back, my favorite PewTubers. Today, we're gonna start a whole new, new build series. This is the Remington 870 12 gauge tactical series. It's Remington 870 Express tactical series. This one, I believe, is a six plus one or seven plus one um, capacity. So what we're gonna do with this big is we are gonna put a god awful amount of tactical accessories on here. I posted some pictures up on our Instagram page about a week or so ago, and a lot of people say, why didn't you get a Mossberg 500? Two reasons. Number one, the safety. I'm gonna upgrade this buttstock eventually to have a pistol grip here. The safety on the Remington is right here, okay? Now, if you're shooting like this, it's not ideal, right? You gotta do all kinds of stuff. On the Mossberg 500, the safety is right here. So it's a lot more conducive if you're gonna use a, a standard style stock. However, because I'm gonna go with a pistol grip, I wanted this type of safety. Number two is availability of parts. This is like the Glock 19 of shotguns. There are so many aftermarket parts available. Dude, you just can't go wrong. Um, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of aftermarket support for the 500 as well but not to the magnitude of the Remington 870. Today is we're gonna do a couple of upgrades. Um, one, we're gonna upgrade the follower in here to a stainless steel follower. There's a plastic one in there right now. We're gonna yank that out, put a stainless steel Brownells one in there. And then number two, we're gonna install this Mesa Tactical Sure Shell shot carrier onto it. And what this does is it goes along the length of the barrel and back here, it adds a place to put your extra shells on the side of the receiver. And then I also picked up some, some AR style flip up sights for it. I thought about doing the ghost ring sights, but you know what? They're kind of pricey for what they are. And these will get the job done just as good. And I got a lot of other parts coming in for this. So this is just the first upgrades of many more to come. Part one, all hail the shoddy. Let's dive up close, take a look at all this, and then I'm gonna show you guys how you can install it and we'll do the follower as well. All right, so we got the Remington 870 on deck. Clear it, make sure we're good to go. All right, so now that we got it safety checked, I'll show you how to disassemble it. And what we're gonna be changing out is the follower the plastic follower that's right here, we're gonna be replacing it with a, uh, a Brownells stainless steel one or aluminum, I don't know, but it's a metal one. So that's what we're gonna be doing. To, to take this gun apart, you know, you've already cleared it. All you gotta do is simply unscrew right here, pull this cap off, the barrel comes right off, just like that. Set that to the side. Now we're gonna be looking down into this tube here. So you see this thing here, this is your magazine tube. All you gotta do is push this in with your finger or a flathead and turn it 45 degrees and it will come out. Let me show you. And then it just slides right out, just like that. And then we're gonna pull the spring out. Then the follower, Might have to bang it against the floor. Let me try that. Okay, so now the follower is right there and you're just gonna twist it until it reaches the orientation to where it will come out just like the end of the tube to come out. There we go. So there is the stock plastic follower. If you notice right here, you have these notches here. Right there. Then we can reinstall our barrel. There we go. Once you got the barrel seated, you just thread that right back on. And now you can see the new follower. Boom. So I got these, these sites from the Brownells website. They're a different brand. They're called Arms 71L-F. They're just some inexpensive sites kind of an alternative to the MBUS. You'll notice that they kick up at an angle, and that is for if the gun is dropped, it will fold the sights back instead of breaking them off. So that's kind of an interesting thing. I don't know anything else about them, but we'll do a review on them later. So this is the SureShell Shot Carrier from Mesa Tactical. You got some bolt holes here that are gonna go in here and here, and then you got a set of ghost rings that go up front to secure it in place. Now, they do include instructions, but they're as clear as mud. So what we're gonna do instead 
is wing it. I did read in the instructions, there should have been some like felt pads that stick in here. Um, because if you notice here, I started test fitting it and I already scratched my receiver. So we're gonna try it a different way. See if we can't get this all installed. Alright, so I had to pound that one in using a punch, but be careful because it is an Allen head, so you don't want to strip it out. Alright, so we got it installed. Now you guys, honestly, there's supposed to be this felt stuff that goes underneath here that is included. Mine wasn't included, but I'm going to be getting this Cerakoted anyway, so I wasn't super stressed about scratching the receiver. However, I did scratch it, you know, fairly decently, but you know, it's a shotgun, whatever. Alright, got the rear part installed, now we just got to install up here and we're going to be using these ghost rings right here now all these other screws and stuff that you see here that is so that you can attach this to a mossberg or a benelli so we won't be even needing now i think we're good to go guys <laughs> different day so i'm wearing a different shirt um i ran out of time yesterday when i was filming uh, all the install of these parts. And then my camera died when I started installing the light here. And we're gonna talk about this light. This is the WMLX from Enforce. Uh, it's 800 lumens, I believe. Got a strobe, momentary and constant, and you can completely disable the strobe if you so choose to. This build is not complete yet, guys. I got a couple other things coming in. I have a recoil reducing buttstock that has a pistol grip coming in. Um, this red dot right here, this is my very first red dot. This is the, the Vortex Spitfire. I like Vortex Spitfires because they have etched reticles, which mean that, you know, this is a red or a green dot, but if the battery dies, I still have a black reticle that I can use. So this is gonna be, this is just a temporary sit-in. I do have a Sig Sauer optic coming in. Um, it's just on back order and I'm waiting for the back orders to get, you know, replenished. Um, I also have a Magpul Mo foregrip coming in. And once that comes in, this light will not be here anymore. This is a temporary location for the light, but it looks pretty cool. But I want the light to be attached to the foregrip so that I always have access to the light. So for example, like I have access to the light right here, but if I wanted to re, you know, cock it back and manipulate it, I can't. This safety bump right here, this is the Vang Comp Speed Safety. This is really nice. It makes the safety so much easier to disengage and what it does is your finger can bump it. So you come here and just, just watch. See, I don't gotta do anything. I don't gotta come down here with my thumb. I don't gotta reach around. It's just, it's just there. Safety's on. Let's just say, for example, I wanted to present. There it is. And, and that's pretty nice. It can also be used in one full motion. So if you don't want to think about disabling it, because it's in the way here of my trigger finger, I can just do it all in one motion in a trigger pull. Really nice. Um, had some issues with this rail. It was supposed to come with these little pads, these little felt pads, like I said earlier, that go up underneath here so I didn't scratch the receiver. Mine didn't. I was gonna call, uh, and I'm probably still going to call Mesa Tactical and get a set of those pads to put under here because I am gonna have to remove this rail because Carl at Legion Precision wants to paint this. Haven't decided on a color scheme yet, so let me know what you guys think a good color scheme for this gun will be. So the Mesa Tactical Rail, it's a pretty cool option. It's not necessary, but you know what? This is my gun, I wanna do what I want to it. Got the shell carrier on this side. Flip up sights, you know, those are just there. You know, you don't even need those, honestly. You don't even need really a bead sight on a shotgun. Other mods that I might do in the future, I might send my barrel to Vane Comp. I wanna see if, um, what they'll do is they'll port the end of your barrel and that helps reduce recoil as well. Um, I'll probably do a little extension here to add one extra round. So far, so good. I'm gonna put links for everything, guys, down in the description below so you guys can see exactly uh, the build list that I'm using. I'll also include the links to the parts that haven't arrived yet but are coming in. This is just kind of something that I wanted to do. You know, this wasn't something that anybody asked me to do. No one's paying me to say nice things. I just happened to want to get a shotgun. This is my very first shotgun. I've only fired one, I think maybe twice in the past. I just never had friends with shotguns. So I definitely am really loving it. So I think, you know, even if you don't want to pimp it out like this, the Remington 870 is a pretty awesome little shotgun, especially the Remington 870 
Express Tactical. These are only like $349. I'll put a link down below where you can pick these up, as well as coupon codes, you know, for all this stuff. So yeah, obviously guys, I haven't fired it with all these accessories on there yet. I'll hit the range up this coming up week, then I can report back to you guys to give you guys, you know, actual valid opinions on what I think, how these products perform. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments section down below, and we'll talk about what you guys think are cool upgrades for shotguns, or if you think mine's stupid. I really don't care. So anyways, I 